Welcome back to another video, a slightly particular one now. I am in Maserati Monaco and I have just configured an MC20 that is going to arrive here in early December. It's a long story, basically it is going to be a car that one of you guys is going to end up winning and being able to drive. Basically it's through a company called NF Touring that got in touch with me. Fascinating project. It's easier if I explain it to you with a little bit of a montage. Here is the MC20 then. So I was sent with strict rules, MC20 coupe, and it needs to be delivered before the end of the year, obviously, because that is when the winner is going to have the car. So let me get my little iPad out. There is an iPad here, which has the spec, and we're gonna use this gray car as a platform to show you the various spec options. So let me see, let me, get this all up and running. Ta-da! Here is the car that I have just specced up. It is a beautiful Rosso Vincente um, paint color. Really, really nice. So basically, you can get a few kind of, let's say, standard colors. Um, this is one of them, even though it is a triple layer paint. You can then go really special with some other kind of spec to order uh, paint colors, but First of all, they cost an absolute fortune, and second of all, um, it will delay the delivery of the car. So out of the, let's say, more standard colors, this was definitely the most special. We're in, we're in Monaco, and I just thought that would be a kind of great platform. Now, I'm just gonna put this right here so I can show you certain things. I've also specced, you can maybe tell there, the carbon roof, which this car conveniently also has. Now, the reason is, because the car is so low, you can really see the carbon. So I think first of all, it looks great. And it breaks up the lines of the paint quite a bit. So I just think it makes the car look a bit more aggressive. I haven't specced, however, the carbon down here. So the exterior carbon pack, lower carbon pack basically, like on this one. This one doesn't have it either. So here, that would have been in carbon. The rear diffuser would have been in carbon and the front splitter would have been in carbon. Now, don't get me wrong, obviously it looks fantastic, but I think for someone who this will most likely be their first supercar, you don't wanna have that front in carbon. Just in case something happens, you never know if there's a steep driveway or something like that. Also, the cost to repair that would be huge. So while there is a budget, obviously, for maintenance uh, prepared for uh, the person that will end up having this car, you don't want that all to go into replacing a front splitter. So that's why the roof made a lot of sense, because you can see it and it's very pretty, but it felt a bit overkill to go with the front. Same as the rims. I've gone with the black with diamond um, kind of spec. Um, so it's got this silver around it, rims. So it's actually the same as these, but just these bits here are chromed out. Um, again, you can get full carbon rims, but I just thought that was overkill. If ever you curb them a little bit, you can't actually fix them, so you then need to replace the whole rim, and that just felt way overkill for a car that's gonna be a gift. You don't wanna give someone a poison gift. Um, so yeah, we've gone for this spec right here. You can also tell that it's got the same brake calipers and actually brakes as on this car. So the carbon ceramic brakes, same, everything that was, let's say security related, I thought was important to spec. So it's got the um, 
blind spot warning. Um, it's got the lift. I ordered the lift just so that, again, if ever someone's got a really steep driveway, they can get down the driveway and just have that peace of mind. Uh, the carbon ceramic brakes, because just would rather that whoever ends up with this car has the best brakes available. Got them in red, just seemed like the best thing to do, seeing as the car was red, it looks really nice, complements it nicely. Um, and yeah, so all, all of the kind of, let's say, security options, um, I've specced on it. But that is basically it for the outside. I don't think I'm really forgetting much. There is here the list. So here is the list. The car starts, taxes included, at 220,000. Um, so it's got the Rosso Vincente, that was 10,000. Uh, the carbon engine cover. Um, oh yeah, sorry, there's a few other things we did forget. It's got the carbon uh, mirrors, it's got the carbon spoiler, which this one does not have. So it's actually the exact same spoiler as this. It doesn't change, but it's just finished in carbon fiber. So it's not really a spoiler, it's just a little lip. Um, but this piece, see how it's a separate piece to the rest of the car, is just switched out and put in carbon fiber, exact same, um, same shape. Carbon engine cover, so you can maybe see through there, that is all carbon fiber. That I respect as well, so there's prices for those various things. And then we get on to the interior. So, the interior, where are we? There we go. The interior, ta-da, ta-da, here it is. I have specced the comfort seats. You can get carbon um, kind of real bucket seats, um, which this does not have either. These are the slightly more comfortable ones. And the reason for that is same thing. 90% of them are specced first of all with these comfort seats because the carbon ones are maybe a bit overkill. Also makes it more usable and potentially more resellable if ever that is the decision. Um, they look fantastic as well. And so yeah, the carbon ones just seem the little to overkill. So, went for the carbon, uh, for the, sorry, for the comfort seats. However, got this laser cut finish on them. So this is actually, yeah, the Alcantara is cut and underneath there's a lighter color. First of all, I just thought it would make the seats look a little more special. Second of all, it's actually convenient and holds you apparently more in place if ever you're doing some track driving uh, and you're under heavy braking or anything like that. Also, you can probably tell got the red stitching, which I think is a really nice detail. And most importantly, the full carbon interior. So effectively, I don't know if you can tell, the theme is it's got every carbon option which isn't hindering on practicality. So the carbon roof, the carbon spoiler, and then the carbon interior. So this kind of comes, um, I think on most of them, you get this carbon here. Then we've got the carbon steering wheel, which this one has two, but what the car that I spec has extra are the carbon pallets and the carbon above the dash. Um, so yeah, it will be a really, really cool looking interior. You can see it here, carbon above the dash right there. And then the carbon, you can't see actually the carbon paddles. Um, the rest, there aren't that many things that you can necessarily spec. So you can see here, the leather and Alcantara, all finished in black, the rims. Um, we've also got, so I'll run through a few of the, I guess, more practical things. The um, Sonus Faber Hi-Fi system, that was specced. Not sure if this one has it actually. Uh, but apparently it's an amazing sound system. This one does not have it, but um, yeah, seems like something, apparently it's incredible. So thought might as well go for that. Um, heated seats, um, it's got the limited slip diff, uh, the carbon ceramic brakes, the lift system, we've already spoken about all that stuff. But yeah, basically, end of all of this, home link as well, you never know, uh, blind spot alert, um, da, da, da. It's also got a car cover, because I figured that could be convenient. And uh, yeah, we end up with a specced out car at 291,480 euros with taxes. Super interesting, um, really kind of fun experience to be able to spec one of these. And I was lucky enough to actually drive one um, on track when it was launched. I love these doors, how cool are these doors? And loved it. like most modern cars, maybe misses a little bit in terms of noise, but in terms of look, 
and usability definitely made up for it. So insane that this car is going to be, uh, be you know, if someone's going to win <laughs> this car. Uh, NF Touring, I could sit here and speak to you about it for hours. Uh, when they approached me, uh, I'm sure like many of you, I was like, okay, what's, what's going on here? What exactly is this? But I think it's a really fascinating project. I think it's going to be something which is really going to be a new form of gaming in the car world, but also mix automobiles and this world and this passion that we all love to the new world on the metaverse. Um, and yeah, if it can allow certain people to drive in these kinds of cars, I'm all for it. So awesome stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you're very curious. I'll put all the links to NF Touring down below um, so that you'll be able to participate in the, let's say, competition to win the car that I just specced. Uh, I'll be there, obviously, to give the winner the car and also pick it up when it's delivery time. So I'm really excited. Take care. Thanks for watching this video as always. I'll see you soon. Cheers.